In this video, I'm going to show you how to make digital downloads for Etsy. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite type of Canva templates to sell on Etsy, which are real cover templates. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got more tutorials coming out on how to create more of these types of digital downloads for you to sell on Etsy. Now, whether you have an existing template shop, these would make a great addition to your store. But if you are brand new to Etsy, then these kind of templates selling them will really help you break into the Canva template niche. So let's get started. OK, so the first thing you want to do is log into your Canva account. Now, if you are looking for inspiration for your real cover templates, like in terms of designs and themes and things like that, I highly recommend you check out the Canva library and have a look at their real cover templates. So to do that, you would just type into the search bar in Canva real cover templates, have a browse through and just take note of anything that stands out to you. But also keep in mind, you're not allowed to actually use the templates inside the Canva library. You're not allowed to actually sell them. So you can't just go in, make a few changes and sell them. So I just wanted to remind you guys of that for those of you who are new to my channel. Um, but also keep in mind that whatever's showing up here is generally trending at the moment um, on social media in terms of like niches, fonts, colors, pictures. So you can gather, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, you know, great inspiration and little tips that you can like design tips that you can really get just from having a look inside um, Canvas library for, you know, what's popular, what's going to sell. But in saying that, you can also go on to Etsy and have a look at what kind of real cover templates are selling well as well. OK, so let's start designing our real cover templates. So we're going to head to the top right hand corner, the purple button, create a design. The size for real cover templates, um, we're going to do a custom size. So we're going to head down to custom size and that size is going to be 1080 by 1920. So um, you have all these options here, inches, millimeters, centimeters, it's pixels. OK, and then we click create new design. Now for this tutorial, I am going to show you two examples. So the examples I'm going to use is just a very simple, basic one with just color and um, a few little uh, graphics text. And then this one over here with the background photo as well. So it's up to you how many um, templates you want to sell um, in your digital product package. I tend to sell 20 templates. So I will put together 20 real cover templates and I'll sell that for about $10. It's totally up to you how many you want to include. So just want to throw that in there. OK, so I've already got in mind that I want the background to be a nice light blue color. So I'm just going to click on the background there. I'm going to head up to this little uh, rainbow colored square where it says background color. And in the search, I am going to type in baby blue. And I'm going to have a look through and I really like this little this light shade of baby blue here. So that's another little tip there. So if you if you're not happy with like the default colors that show up here and you don't particularly want to go into add a new color and search for a color, you can literally just type in like the color. So you could just type in top and it'll come up with a bunch of different top shades for you to choose from. And I'm always forever using um, this way of finding colors. OK, so to start adding in graphics and elements and just, you know, start making this design come alive, you're going to head over to the left hand side elements and then you literally type in what you're looking for. So I know I want this graphic to be a little bit abstract. I want it to be like, you know, like looking like a blob. So I literally just type in blob. And then I always like to filter my search. So we're only using free elements for our templates. So to do that. You just click up there, head down to free. And then I'm going to go into graphics and click on see all. And I'm going to choose that blob. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I want to change the colors. So I'm going to change this creamy color to this pink color. And I'm going to change the color of the lines just to white. 
I am going to move this around. I'm going to tilt it. So the little two arrows there, you just move it to the side and I'm going to move it like that, actually. And then I'm just going to make an exact duplicate of that. So I just highlight it and then click on the little arrow button here. It says duplicate and I'm going to bring that down here. Okay, now I want to add some dots. So I'm still in elements. I'm going to search for dots. See all. And I'm going to use this here. I'm going to make that a little bit larger by extending it. I'm going to change the color of it to white. I'm going to move it up into the corner. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and then I'm going to flip it around. Then I'm just going to make a duplicate of that and I'm going to move that into this corner here. Now it's time to add some text. So to do that, we head over to the left hand side text. Click on add a heading. So I'm going to search for a font to match the theme of this. So I already know which one I have in mind. And to make that font bigger, all you need to do is just extend it out or you can head up here where the font size is and you can change it there as well. And I'm also going to just make that a little bit bigger as well. I'm going to change that to the same font. It's just going to be in a different color. Now you will notice that I'm keeping, um, I'm keeping the text, which is what's going to um, draw people in really is, you know, this is what this reel is going to be about. I'm keeping it towards the middle of the design because I want this text to actually show up um, in the Instagram grid. Um, clearly, I don't want any of it to be cut off. Like this is the main important like hook you could say that's going to, you know, make people want to click on this reel. Um, in the Instagram grid. So I'm going to show you how we can actually do that and make sure our designs fit within that square that will be seen on the Instagram grid. Um, I'll show you that later. Let's just edit this. So I'm going to change the color. I'm going to add some effects to it because I just like adding that. I want to put a shadow and I want the shadow to be black. Okay, so that is how easy it was to make a very simple real cover there. And, you know, everything here is editable, all the graphics, the background, the, um, the fonts, it was all super easy to make. So your customers, they, um, you know, they're going to love it. They're going to love that they can literally change the color to whatever they want. So we could have a black design, like it's just, it's so cool. I just, I love everything about making templates like We'll put it back to that one there and let's go and start creating the second real cover example. So I'm just going to click on add a page. And if you guys are getting value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe. So depending on how many uh, designs you want to have, all you're doing is just going down to here. It says add a page and that will be a new design for you. So I'm going to just change that. I'm actually going to change this to black because of the effect which I'm going to show you. So for this real cover template, we're going to use a picture. So an actual photo in the background. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in uh, drinking coffee. Okay, now I'm going to go to photos, see all. Now the picture that I want to do, I can't seem to find it here, um, but you know, this is how you would actually search for pictures. So I'm just going to go to my recently um, used because it should be sitting in there. But when I typed in drinking coffee, um, when I was making the examples there, like it, it showed up. So I don't know what's happened. So, oh, here it is. Okay. So you just click on the image. And then we head up to the three dots where it says more. And then we just hit replace background. Okay. Get out of that. All right. So I like this like dark effect in the background. So what I'm going to do. Okay. So the background is still black. So you head up here to transparency and you just drag it along. 
and I like it to have this sort of look like that. Now it's time to add some extra elements just to make it pop. So I want to put some stars in there. So staying in elements, I just type in stars. And then we go to graphics where it says see all. And then you just pick whichever ones you like. I'm going to change the color of these stars to white so it stands out. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to head up to the little arrow. I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to put that down here. And now it's as simple as just adding in some text. So now you're just adding in the text for the real cover. You're changing the fonts. I'm going to add in some more text here just as a little subheading. And that would be a perfect example of a real cover template that you could sell. So it's literally just a photo in the background, a few little graphics here, some text, and your customers will be able to, you know, obviously change the text to match their content. But that was very um, simple and easy and fun to create in Canva. So now what I want to show you is how you can actually make sure that the most important, you know, um, elements and, you know, text that you want to be seen in your Instagram grid um, is actually not cut off. OK, so to make sure that everything that we want to be shown in our Instagram grid is actually going to be shown like no text is going to be like up here and then that's going to be down there and then in the you know when someone visits your profile and you have your reel sitting in the actual group text is cut off and like it just looks really untidy and messy so to combat that and so people have a good experience with your templates what you want to do is make sure that the text and whatever you want to be seen in your instagram grid will actually be within like the square. So to do that, what you do is just head over to elements. Yeah, you're going to head to elements. You're going to go down to shapes. So you'll just click on the square and you want to make that square bigger um, to the size of 1080 by 1080 because that is the perfect square size for an Instagram um, photo, which shows up perfectly in the grid and nothing gets cut off. So once you've done that square size, you can see, okay, this is perfect. So in the reels view, they're going to get like, they're going to see the stars and they're going to see all of this, but in the actual Instagram grid view where they, you know, your reel is going to show up with all your photos, your quotes, your posts, your tips, all that. You want to make sure that the real cover is actually within the square like the most important parts so that nothing gets cut off and everything just looks really um, tidy and neat. So by doing this, by grabbing a square and measuring it, you can actually see, yep, everything that I want to be seen is actually going to be seen there. And then what you would do is just, um, you know, take it through all your other template designs and just make sure that what you want to be shown what you want shown is going to actually be shown in the Instagram grid. So I can't see anything there. So I'm just going to send this to the back. And yeah, that is how it's actually going to show up on your Instagram grid like that, which is perfect. That's what we want. Okay. Once you're done with that, obviously you want to get rid of the square because you don't want that in your template. Once you're happy with your designs and you want to actually um, sell your template, what you'll need to do is grab an editable um, link. So you want to make a copy of this design so that your customers can actually go and make changes and edit it. Now, before you grab your template, you want to make sure that you actually name your design. So it just looks nice and professional for your customers. So I'm just going to make this up. Okay, we have given it a title. And so to get your Canva template link, you're going to head up to the top right hand corner here where it says share. And then you're going to go down to where it says template link. 
Once again, for those of you who are new here, if that template link is not sitting there, you head down here where it says more and then it should be in there somewhere. So we grab the template link. Do not touch any of this up here. You don't need to worry about that when it comes to um, creating and selling templates on Canva. So we're going to click on template link. Template link. Anyone with this link can use this design as a template. Sign in is required, but you won't know who's made copies of the design. Head down here where it says create template link. And then that's the link there that we're going to give our customers access to. So you're going to copy that link. And then what you're going to do is you are going to paste that link into a PDF file, which is going to get uploaded into Etsy. So I'm going to paste that link into here. But first of all, I'm going to change the name of this link. So it's going to be called, I'm just going to say, what did I call it? Marketing Real Cover Templates. And so what I do is I would then highlight that text. And then as you can see, the little link button comes up. I click on the link. And I'm just going to paste in that link that we just got from before. So you would need to make a PDF file. The one that I'm using here is actually, it's an example of some of the uh, download file templates that I actually sell, particularly for Etsy. So you can actually purchase um, this off me. I actually sell three in the package. The link to purchase these PDF download file templates, I'll leave them in, in the description below. So it's as simple as that. And then um, I've got this area here where you can actually put in a picture of your Etsy shop banner. So I'm just going to see, I'm just going to use mine as an example. So there we go. So it just says, um, you know, and you can make this really, really easy. This particular PDF file, you can make really easy in Canva. All you'll do is just type in, um, you know, when you're looking for the designs, you could type in something like A4 um, or just like a letter. Use that as a template, throw in some text. You know, all mine says literally, thank you for your purchase. And then I've got um, some details in here, some instructions for them. But the main thing you want to have here is the link to the template and then your name, Lauren. And then in this template, you can have links to your social media. So I'll just make this bigger for you guys to see. So I've already made this up for you guys if you wanted to purchase it. But if you want to make this um from scratch, I will also leave the link on how to do this because I've got a full tutorial on how to make this PDF file from scratch as well. So you've got all your links there to social media. If you've got a lead magnet, uh, you can enter that here. If you don't, you can just simply delete all that. And then I'm just going to move that there. And then from here, once you're happy with your download file, what you will do is you're just going to click on share. You're going to go down to download and you need to make sure that the file you are downloading this PDF file in, uh, whether you're purchasing my templates or whether you're creating yours from scratch is PDF standard so that the links are clickable. So you click on download. So once you have downloaded that PDF file from Canva, you want to log in to your Etsy. You want to go into your shop manager. You want to click on that listing um, that this particular PDF file is for. You want to scroll down to where it says digital files. Okay. And then where it says add a file, you're going to click on add a file. And then you're going to find that PDF file and you're simply going to upload it. And then that is how you would actually sell this on Etsy. So your customer will download the PDF file on Etsy after they make a purchase. And then you are just going to direct them to this link down here. They are going to click on this particular link and it is going to take them to a copy of your template designs for them to edit. And guys, if you love this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more of this.